7 Types of Chihuahuas, From Short Hair to Apple Headed Chihuahuas are a fascinating breed, and one that briefly took the world by storm, gaining more popularity after being spotted in celeb hands, and handbags, like Paris Hilton, Demi Moore, Reese Witherspoon, and even, at some point, Marilyn Monroe, whose pooch was named Josepha. Today we're digging into the history of the Chihuahua and the different types of Chihuahuas that fans of the breed might seek out. The History of the Chihuahua One of the theories we have available about the origin of the Chihuahua breed, and certainly the most plausible one if you ask us, is that they are descended from an ancient race of dogs called the Tekachi who were kept by the ancient Toltec peoples. These dogs were kept around as companions, and they eventually found themselves being sold to passers-by. Over time, they began going by the name of the region they were most commonly found in Chihuahua. The Chihuahua breed was first registered as an official breed with the American Kennel Club, AKC, in 1904. Chihuahua Breed Basics Standing between 5 and 8 inches tall and weighing up to 6 pounds, the Chihuahua is the smallest dog breed, but he's hardly tiny in tenacity. This lively little one has a personality far larger than his frame and is the most compact watchdog out there, quick to alert you to perceived intruders, whether it's the mail carrier or a chipmunk. He's an excellent companion who effortlessly earns his keep, providing aforementioned watchdog duties, albeit too enthusiastically at times, fantastic lap warming skills, and endless entertainment. The AKC breed standard calls for a dog with a saucy expression, and boy does the Chihuahua deliver. He packs a lot of cuteness in his little frame, with large eyes and tall, pricked ears that forever broadcast his mood. He's confident and poised, carrying himself well. The Chihuahua gets a bad rep when it comes to snippy behavior, though this is less breed-specific and is more so an example of small dog syndrome, a common issue with toy breeds. Due to his size, it's easy to overly pamper your Chihuahua and excuse naughty behavior like nipping and nuisance barking, but consistent training with plenty of positive reinforcement is critical in shaping him into the best example of the breed. 7 Different Types of Chihuahuas At the outset, we must point out that the American Kennel Club only recognizes two varieties of Chihuahuas, short or smooth, coat Chihuahuas and long coat Chihuahuas. The rest, which we'll go through in a bit, are simply considered subtypes of these two recognized varieties. Chihuahua Type number 1, Short-Haired, Smooth Coat, Chihuahuas We'll begin by discussing what is likely the most common type of Chihuahua you'll see at the dog park, the short hair Chihuahua. The only notable difference between the short hair Chihuahua and the other recognized breed variety, the long hair Chihuahuas, is, well, the coat. That's it. Believe it or not, the smooth coat Chihuahua has short hair, while the long coat Chihuahua has, wait for it, long hair. Because the short hair gives the animals a bit of a streamlined appearance, they're sometimes called smooth coat Chihuahuas. It goes without saying that short-haired Chihuahua owners will have less effort on the grooming front and a little less shed hair to clean up around the house. But you should also note that short-haired Chihuahuas will be more likely to catch a chill in cold weather, so make sure you pick up a dog sweater for your little wagger to wear. Chihuahua Type number 2, Long-Haired, Rough Coat, Chihuahuas As explained in the previous section, long-haired Chihuahuas simply have longer hair than their short-coated counterparts. The overall appearance of these long coats can make them appear somewhat rough, at least, when compared with short-haired chihuahuas, which leads to the other common name for these doggos, the rough-coated chihuahua. It can take up to 24 months at most for a long-haired chihuahua to develop a full and luxurious coat. From this point forward, you'll need to ensure you keep that coat clean, as you would with all dogs, and have him groomed regularly. Weekly brushing is also a good idea, and your pooch will likely enjoy these little mini-grooming sessions, which will give you another way to bond with your pupperino. Chihuahua Type number 3 Applehead Chihuahua. Having discussed the two official varieties of Chihuahua, we can now move on to other types, which differ from each other without receiving official recognition. And to do that, we're going to start with head shape. All Chihuahuas have one of two types of heads. The first is the so called apple head, or apple headed, Chihuahua. These cute little canines have heads that are rounded and vaguely apple shaped. These Chihuahuas are likely the type most people envision when thinking of the breed. Anyone else remembers the Taco Bell Chihuahua? and they're fairly common too. In addition to having a more rounded head, apple head chihuahuas have a slightly shorter muzzle too. They're also born with something called a molra, a soft spot in the skull that may or may not completely close, much like the fontanelle in human newborns. Chihuahua type number 4, the deer head chihuahua. While most chihuahuas have apple-shaped heads, others have heads that are described as being more deer-like. Accordingly, these little four-footers are called deer-headed, or simply deer-head, 
Chihuahuas. Deer-headed chihuahuas differ from their apple-head counterparts in a few ways, but two of the most notable are that deer-head chihuahuas have slightly longer heads and no slope on their noses, as is seen on the apple-head chihuahua. There's one other important difference between these two types of chihuahuas, the deer-head chihuahua often grows a little bit larger than its counterparts, a fact which may mean your dog is unable to compete in dog shows with weight limits. Chihuahua type number 5, the teacup chihuahua. While we've previously discussed chihuahuas who differ in things like coat length or skull shape, we need to take a moment to discuss a variety that differs in overall size. Of course, we're talking about the teacup chihuahua. Now, all chihuahuas are small, but the so-called teacup chihuahua is ridiculously small. As their name implies, they're said to be small enough to fit in a teacup. According to Teacup Daily, to satisfy these criteria, teacup chihuahuas have to weigh less than 5 pounds and be no taller than 9 inches. We'd say that qualifies as positively puny. It's worth noting that many folks disapprove of the breeding of teacup chihuahuas. Teacup dogs are abnormally tiny and tend to have painful lives due to the genetic issues that come from being purposely bred to be unnaturally small. Chihuahua type number 6, the pear-headed chihuahua. A mashup of apple-headed chihuahuas and deer-headed chihuahuas in appearance is the pear-headed chihuahua. While the fruity moniker is fun to say and sounds exotic, it isn't really a thing, so don't let anyone charge you a premium for one. As the name implies, so-called pear-headed chihuahuas have a skull that resembles a pear, with a wider apple-like top that narrows slightly before flaring into a wider muzzle than seen in deer-headed chihuahuas. Sometimes, these pups are taller and heavier than other chihuahuas, exceeding the 6-pound limit of the standard. If you see a breeder advertising pear-headed chihuahuas or other strange labels, it's a definite red flag, particularly if they're charging extra or listing the pup as a rarity. As with the teacup title, it's one we'd avoid. Ethical, responsible breeders seek to meet or exceed the breed standard, not reinvent it. Chihuahua type number 7, the fawn chihuahua, or any other colored chihuahua. Coat length, skull shape, and size are some of the most common ways chihuahuas are classified but these little lads and ladies also come in a variety of coat color and pattern varieties. Accordingly, you may see them referred to as fawn chihuahuas, or white chihuahuas, or any of the other colors seen in the breed. For whatever reason, the term fawn chihuahua is the one most commonly seen and googled. Like most other fawn-colored dogs, fawn chihuahuas are basically brown to reddish-brown in color. They may also have markings of different colors. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.